Yeah, what's up? Okay, so today, like I said earlier on, I said in our last class, we're considering how to simulate separators, two-phase and three-phase separators. So let's continue with our tutorial case. Okay. Okay, we're here right now. So first of all, we need to know what the separator is used for. Or how what you can use it to simulate in aspirin heises. A separator is, is strictly used to to separate or to to um yeah to separate a fluid that is operating in a mist phase. Okay, the fluid must exist in a mist phase before you can separate it into the gas phase and the liquid phase. All right, so it's a means of removing. Um, water from a gas stream okay the process or the unit operation can be used to extract water from an incoming stream or to extract liquid from an incoming gas stream that is existing in the mist phase now having that at the back of your mind that means you can use uh, a separator to to simulate a dehydrating unit or a dehydration unit, okay, and then um, also you can use it to simulate a dryer to help you dry your gas. All right. So if you can know how these unit operations function, you'll be able to know when to apply it in running your design. Because if you if you're looking out for a, a dryer. Or a dehydration unit in aspen hysis you might not see it but with the help of a separator you can do that you can dehydrate a gas that's remove water from a gas and as well you can also dry a gas and um, remove liquid from an incoming gas stream so let's try and do the practical that's a separator so you just click on it and um, drop okay so let's see this particular stream operates as a pure gas so let's try and um, make the vapor phase fraction 0 0.5 0 0.5 okay 0 0.5 but before then let me show you something this is a pure gas too this is a pure gas so let's see if i use stream 2 let's see what happens okay stream 2 call this stream 4 and stream 5 wow it will solve but let's see you go to worksheet the molar flow of stream 5 which is the liquid stream is zero telling you that nothing is going out everything that entered is going out in stream 4 that is in the vapor phase meaning that this particular system is useless this particular unit operation if you're if you have a unit operation like this in your in your design it simply means you're wasting money okay installing this particular unit operation in your design for this stream is wasted of money because you ended up not doing anything that stream is a pure gas stream okay the pure in as much as we have water okay the water content is showing us that we have um, about 400 and something or 300 and 3000 plus um a milligram per newton meter cube water content okay for you to be able to remove that water you need to cool the gas okay move it from the vapor phase to a mist phase so you can be able to remove the water in the gas are we together now let me do let me show you something I need to break this connection so I click on break connection and remove this now this is a pure gas right so but I can cool this I can cool this gas okay let's let's check the properties tab and see the water content I taught you how to add water content so come to gas and um, look for the water content and apply okay so close so our water content is 2.411 exponential 4 which is very very high 
so i need to remove i need to reduce this water content what do i need to do okay i'll need to cool this gas stream i need to cool this gas stream that is stream two and um the outlet stream and let me call it stream six okay my energy stream is um let's say con q and um okay i need to call my aim is to reduce this to 0 0.5 so let me see what i will get like that and um let's say my pressure drop is 10 pressure drop is 10 and uh okay so let's go back to the worksheet at 0 0.5 vapor phase fraction my temperature will be minus 168.3 so okay i need to cool it to minus 168. Um, okay sorry that's minus 168.3 okay so or at 0 0.49995 okay now with this So if I come to my design, impute stream six. All right, so let's go back and check. So we've been able to separate the gas from the liquid. All right, so we have about 66.87 um, kilogram per hour going out through the liquid phase. And we have 33.13 going out from um, the gas Phase. so let's check the water content of this gas come to properties scroll down and um, append our properties okay append our properties we need water content apply so so we've been able to reduce it to 4.140 exponential minus 12 that's 0 0.00000 something from let's see where we are coming from that's from 2.411 exponential 4 to 0 0.000 um so let's go back and check it please okay so we've been able to reduce it from that water content to 0 0.00000000 4140 so that's that's a very great that's a good job so we've been able to extract the water like remove virtually all the water from this gas stream making it fit for transportation okay so that's how to simulate your two-phase that's it that's it that's how your two-phase separator is used now talking about a three-phase separator it's almost the same thing okay so this is majorly used in um when you're running your refinery process this is used to simulate a desalter you have a three phase you have the gas phase you have the liquid phase that's your crude oil phase okay and you have um, um the last phase where the desalted water moves from that's the last stage okay so if we have um let's see this stream one exists as if uh, at a vapor phase fraction of 0 0.5 so it's a mist phase we open this we have okay we have our inlet stream to be one so we can call the vapor seven we call the liquid phase eight that's a light liquid and we have the heavy liquid so in two phase separator we have just the vapor and the liquid phase when a three-phase separator will have the vapor the light liquid and the heavy liquid so when you have heavy liquid in your simulation like that was what i said when you're running your refinery process for the desalter you can use this for the desalter okay and um let's see you go to worksheets okay your your um your your vapor is 3.1 3.0 in your heavy liquid you have just very little um, um mass flow rate going out from there okay so that's how to run it so if you check your stream 9 about 8.701 that's the heavy liquid okay stream 8 you have about um, 1040 going out from there in mass fraction and for your vapor phase 
you have um, 1050 so basically that is how to use your separators separators are majorly for removal of um liquid you're removing liquid from gas okay so that's how to run that and remember your inlet stream your feed stream must be in a mist phase it must not be pure liquid or pure gas or else it might solve or it will solve but you won't have the right answer because the essence of using a separator is to remove liquid from gas to separate liquid from gas okay so that's that and also if you look if you open this go to the design tab you see a provision for energy stream now this is optional okay if you unless you have a particular temperature or a particular energy that you want to heat up the system to enable the vapor or to enable enough gas stream live through the top or to enable um you get some component from the feed stream in the vapor phase that's a large amount large quantity or large composition of some particular components in the feed stream you want to get it in the vapor phase so all you need to do is to heat up that feed stream to um to increase the chances or the the, the, the temperature you're increasing the temperature of the system all right to make those components will live at those that particular temperature of the system okay so that's the essence of this energy stream all right so with that i think uh, i've been able to show you how you can use your um two-phase separator and your three-phase separator in our next class we'll talk about how you can make use of your mixer and your tea all right but before then i think it's let me just use this particular tutorial to show you how to use your storage tank so this is your storage tank click on it drop it so let's assume this is our final product and want to store it okay your your stream the inlet stream is full so let's call this 10 that's the vent the vapor going out and um let's call this um let's call this 12 or 11 stream 11 okay so so this is your storage tank okay all right so nothing is leaving from the bottom so this how your storage tank looks like so anything the gas has to live through this place all you need to do is to attach a valve around here to help you control the flow all right so if you check this this will tell you that there is nothing like liquid here it's pure gas so what you're storing here is gas you need um a pressure relief valve you need to attach a pressure relief valve and also um, a control valve to help you control the flow all right so that's how to run your two-phase separator your three-phase separator and your storage tank thank you very much for your time so in our next class we'll be handling mixer and t that's a split unit thank you for your time